I wiped my eyes. Devin, I only cried because I feel like I'm not good enough for you and I love you. I want to shove jelly beans in your Hey, what is up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to be reading fan fiction, which is the nastiest thing in the freaking world because there are some dirty fan fictions and it makes me want to vomit because the people that are writing this are like 13 or 14 are like, how do you come up with this stuff at that age? Like, that is just, ugh. Where is your mother? But starting out the week reading dirty fan fiction is the worst thing you can actually do, so, um... Bless, bless the souls, bless the, bless the heavenly souls that wrote this dirty fan fiction. We're gonna get started with this, and this first story actually is Nick Horton's foot fetish, and I don't like feet at all. Like, if I see a foot, I will actually like bark at it because it is just the most disgusting thing in the world. Like, I don't like feet. Like, get that hairy freaking foot fungus thing out of my face. Like, the, ugh. Whoever wrote this, thank you. I appreciate the the effort into my kinks, um, but yeah, we're gonna get started. Okay, so me and Nick have been friends for a while now. Okay, I don't know who wrote this, but I don't have any friends. There's two errors in the story already. I don't like feet and I have no friends, so. But now today, he told me something that could change everything. He said something so horrific that I was afraid to be around him. You know what he said? He admitted his obsession with feet. <laughs> It's getting out of control. I don't think he can help me with- Oh my god, I, guys, I cannot read, okay? Like, I suck at reading. I have a 30 in English right now. Just bear with me. Every time I look at him, he's looking at pictures of feet. All shapes and sizes. At least he doesn't discriminate. I told him I would try my best to help him through this hard time, but I wasn't sure how, where to start. He was getting worse by the hour. I went to bed in the room beside Nick and put socks on when I went to sleep. The next morning, my socks were off. I really hope I wasn't foot raped last night. Okay, what is that? He's really scaring me now. Earlier I walked into his room to find him on his knees and Alan standing up. It's not what it sounds like. Oh, I was about to say like, what? I thought I was in a feet. Nick was actually licking Alan's feet. I immediately knew I should have not. Him and Alan jumped up to play it all cool, but I knew what they were doing. So I went to his mom about it and I wasn't sure what to do. Only to find out that he gets it from his parents. Check back tomorrow for more. Okay, was that like the end of the story? Like, how are you gonna stop a story where like I get my, you know, foot fetish from my parents? Like, I wanna read more. This story was actually getting really good. Like, I actually liked it. 10 out of 10. All right, I don't know who the hell wrote this next fan fiction, but the title of it is Nick Have Feelings, and it's not emotional feelings, it's like physical like sexual feelings and it's just really disgusting so if you guys are like 12 or 13 like please click off of this right now because this is actually really gross and I don't want you guys to like you know have nightmares and oh my god Devin came to my house. I put on a sweatshirt to hide the scars. I opened the door. He seemed not too happy, but he also seemed to have a look of relief in his eyes. Hey, Nick. He said in a very pissy manner. I replied, starts to sob. I can't take it. Hold me, Devin. I'm sorry I didn't answer your FaceTime. Devin started tearing up. I'm sorry, too. After you left the broadcast, the girl told me how sad you were and I rushed off. I wiped my eyes. Devin, I only cried because I feel like I'm not good enough for you and I love you. I want to shove jelly beans in your... Nick, I, I, I love you too. Don't forget yesterday you gave me a bunch of jelly beans. He gave a little smirk, we headed to the bedroom. Okay, this is like some Dr. Phil stuff. He started pulling off my clothes. Nick, why didn't you tell me? I replied. Are you mad? I'm sorry. Devin didn't respond, but he kept taking off his clothes. He said, mmm, it's so big. Mmm, I want you inside me now. What? I stuck my in, I started slowly, then I went faster. Moans! Oh, Nick, I wish we did this more often. Now it's my turn. Devin stuck his huge <laughs> in me. We f hours. We started doing this all the time and anywhere. Okay, that was the fastest, most sexual story I've ever heard in my life. I don't know, like, who writes this stuff, but... A for effort. That was really, that was, that was a really good story. I like that one. That was like actually really cute. Like it was so sentimental. Like, you know, we, we touched each other and it was just great. Um, but yeah, I like that story. But anyway, guys, if you guys are freaked out by any of these stories, make sure you guys hit that like button because I am really terrified right now. Like I don't even like want to like open anymore right now at the moment. But if you guys want a part two to this, make sure you guys comment down below and be like, Nick, hey, like read my story next. Like if you guys feel free to make any story, make it really creepy and weird and I'll read you guys a story in my next YouTube video. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe guys because I do post videos every single Monday and Friday So if you guys want to see those make sure you guys click that subscribe button Also, if you guys want to be notified when I post a new video Make sure you guys click that little bell button because that helps out so much in so many ways All of my social media links will be down below in the description aka where my crotch is just you know down below But I love you guys so much. I hope you guys have a good week and I'll see you guys on Friday for a new video. Peace out guys. I love you guys so much and yeah